System 3000 is the result of more than 10 years of highly intensive research and development and has revolutionized the production of all bitumen-based sheeting, particularly in the production of high-grade bitumen roofing membranes. Apart from the production plant, our scope of supply includes the mixing unit, silos and bitumen storage tanks, facilities for process water and heat transfer oil cooling, heat transfer oil heating, computer control and all electrical equipment, pollution control facilities and fire prevention facilities, full laboratory facilities. The raw material unwind unit, the splicing and bonding table, and the raw material compensator ensure a continuous production process. The reliable and exact connection of the end and beginning of the carriers will be ensured by the largely automated bonding table. Only a single person is necessary to operate this unit. The electronic weight counterbalance guarantees that the carrier is fed in absolutely stress-free into the impregnation sector without any additional draw rolls. The function and operation mode of the impregnation center are best shown by diagrams. All the troughs and rollers are electrically heated and therefore the temperature can be precisely controlled with a minimum of energy requirement. As a result of the digitally controlled single drives and the low heat load, all stresses are avoided, even in the thinnest polyester carriers. By combining such impregnation units built by using the modular construction system, it is also possible to impregnate two or more carriers, even with different compounds. The heart of the System 3000 production plant is the new coating process. The diagrams illustrate how the coating compound layer is first applied to the upper side of the carrier in an exact thickness. The carrier is supported during this process. The V-shaped rear wall and the metered feet of the coating compound into the electrically heated applicator head simultaneously reduce the forces acting on the carrier. The carrier is also supported when sanding material is dispersed over it any sanding excess being removed immediately by tilting the carriers downwards. For products sanded on both sides, the bottom of the carrier is also coated and sanded in this area. By placing several heads in a row, it is very easy to feed and coat two or three carriers with extreme accuracy. As you can see, the coating is of exceptional quality and absolutely plain and smooth. Using products surfaced with foils, the underside is coated in a second stage with the aid of a water-cooled feed roll with an accurately adjustable height and an accurately supported cooling belt. The clearance between the belt and the roller later corresponds precisely to the desired product thickness to the nearest tenth of a millimeter. This will not undergo any further change throughout the production process, so no additional thickness measuring systems are required. Due to the extreme cooling effect of the cooling belt, the temperature of the polyethylene sheet, which is only five to six mu thick and is fed to the cooling belt by a width adjusting device, remains completely stable. Motor operated side stops scan the carriers already coated on the upper side so that very exact edges are produced. As the coating compounds are fed completely separately, Different compounds can be applied on the upper and underside as required. Additional application heads can be used to apply further coatings on this cooling belt. A process water cooling plant consisting of a cooling tower tanks and refrigeration unit prepares the necessary quantities of cold water. After leaving, the surface of the finished product, which is already cooled to about 40 to 50 degrees centigrade, 
is sprayed with a thin film of water. Using the heat of evaporation, further optimum cooling to room temperature takes place in the downstream air-cooled unit, which draws in outside air by ventilators and then discharges it again. An additional edge control unit controls the exact flow of the product. The finished product's compensator, built of identical parts just like the raw material compensator and the downstream air-cooled compensator, guides the product to the winding machine. The flexibility of the coating system also means that winding can only ever take place in one direction, so the rolls can already be prepared for packing in paper as soon as the winding process has ended. The wrapping paper is pushed into the opened roll, and by turning the roll, it is packed with paper. Hot glue spots are applied on the end of the paper, and the roll is bonded with paper. Upon request, it is also possible to add a self-adhesive sheet line to the wrapping machine. Other remarkable features of the wrapping machine are the roll straightening machine before the start of the packaging process, the automatic braking unit that prevents the paper roll winding, and the freely programmable production data inkjet printing unit. The packed rolls are passed via the roller conveyor and transfer unit to the automatic palletizer. The palletizer places the rolls on wooden pallets in either butted or nested patterns. The pallets are automatically taken from the pallet warehouse and placed in position ready for stacking. Of course, the covering and the shrink wrapping operations can also be automated. The components required for the production of the bitumen compounds, such as fillers and the bitumen, are stored outside the plant in appropriate silos and heated storage tanks. The bitumen is removed from the tanks of trucks or railway cars by filling pumps using the gas displacement system. Additional bitumen fume removal devices are also used to ensure that the bitumen tanks are filled without causing any odor nuisance. Bitumen is pumped to the mixers through heated and insulated pipelines. In a simple way, the diagram shows the stages in the production of modified compounds. The supply of bitumen. The adding of SBS. The homogenizing. the pump over of bitumen from one mixer to the next, the adding of fillers, the special piping enables feeding the application heads with the same or different compounds, gate paddle mixers are used to add fillers up to a content of 35 percent. Additional dissolver devices are provided for higher filler contents and for dissolving APP blocks. The pictures that follow provide a better explanation. Some of these were taken without insulation. The mixers are also constructed on the modular construction system. Irrespective of their content, all the pipeline components are prefabricated by the manufacturer to the same space dimensions and diameters and are assembled on the construction site without any welding operations. Filler materials are removed from the silos by worm conveyors and fed by pneumatic conveyors to intermediate containers situated above the mixers. SBS granules are separately weighed from big bags into a feed hopper and then conveyed via screws to mixer one. The piping heat expansion is balanced by various compensators. The semi-tubular oil pipes welded onto the outside of the mixer together with the marginal scrapers situated inside the mixers allow optimum heating. 
Moreover, the temperature of the compound in the mixer can be reduced by 0.5 degrees centigrade per minute by a special heat transfer oil cooling system. A light oil-fired heating system provides the entire mixing unit and the bitumen tanks with heat transfer oil. Via a distributor, control valves and pumps, each consumer circuit is individually regulated and temperature controlled by a computer. We have been exclusively using Seifer homogenizers for many years now, usually of the SMD3HK type for dissolving the SBS granules in bitumen. Placed on rails and fitted with appropriate shutoff devices, the machine can be moved easily for maintenance purposes. The boundaries of this particular company's site are directly adjacent to residential areas on at least two sides. Accordingly, the requirements of the licensing authorities were very stringent. The bitumen fume removal process, especially developed for System 3000, has proven to be highly efficient here. It is used in addition to the gas displacement system when the tankers are discharged near the mixer and in the impregnation and the coating units. Additional filter units are used for removing dust from the silos and the dispersion unit. Small components directly clean the dust contaminated used air where it occurs. This increases the effectiveness of the cleaning and saves on both investment and operational capital in comparison with central plants. The diagram shows the cleaning of the contaminated used air of a mixer. A difference must be made during the cleaning between dust weight used air by feeding of the fillers and fume contaminated used air with a low content of dust during the rest of the production. Measurements taken by regional factory inspectors while the plant was in continuous operation demonstrated that we are well below the statutory maximum pollution limits. System 3000 is the technology of today for tomorrow.